things are coming along here at the Crawford house, or maybe I should say coming apart. <laughs> My oldest daughter, Keisha, and I were busy at it for the last two days. Um, got a lot of demolition done, pulled a lot of plaster off the walls, um, some lath, opened up some walls just to see what we were dealing with so that we can move forward from there. Um, we do have a lot of electrical that is going to need to be run, so unfortunately we do need to pull quite a bit of the walls open just so that we can have easier access to run that electrical. Now, you can kind of see, uh, that was water damage. So that part of the ceiling has been opened up and the lath was mush. And there really wasn't much left of it. Um, and then you can also see that I have opened up a little area there for the new doorway into the walk-in closet for the master bedroom which is the room that I am standing in. And so that leads right into the walk-in closet. We'll go around the corner here because I can't quite go through the new doorway yet. But we pulled all of the plaster off the walls in there. And we got this portion of the ceiling done and down as well because um, that also had some water damage and it is actually part of the hallway and so we want to have a nice smooth transition for there but i love how much light is coming into this house when i start opening windows up the master bedroom that i was in you saw how much light was in there and that was only one window that was opened so um the other one is covered up with plywood which you know it's going to block a lot of light and that one actually faces south so the amount of daylight that is going to come into this house is going to be amazing and that is one of my favorite things um, about a house is to have enough windows that it is never dark during the day and stealing light like I have said numerous times for this new stairwell was very important to me um, and like I said those are the openings up there and they will remain so behind me you're gonna see the hallway we tore all the plaster off the ceiling there. We haven't gotten to the lath yet, just like I said in my previous post. Um, but we did a little more. Well, Keisha tackled a good portion of this wall and on down the stairwell. You can kind of see looking down there. And we're wanting to expose the brick that um, goes up through the center of the house. There's a huge, huge brick chimney. And it is in such bad repair that we will be tearing that all out and um, discarding it. Maybe reusing some brick for future use. We're not sure yet. Um, but we did get the upstairs bathroom is totally gutted. Did a little bit of work on this room as well. In previous videos you might have seen framing right there you see the blue lines in there um, that's actually where some framing was that's where a closet used to be now it actually looks like a room it's um, got quite a bit of space there are there's one window right behind me obviously there was one on the north side and we are actually going to close that one up because we don't need three windows in this space tiny of a room because this space right back there used to be a window and we are actually going to change that into a doorway and that is going to lead out onto a double-decker porch that's going to be around the corner over there <laughs> so we've got a little bit of work ahead of us um, I am excited with the progress that we have made so far and I Look forward to keeping you all updated. Hope you are having a wonderful day.